No. Within that no, it is as if a yes has swallowed the no. She who is worshiping Mohan is named Radhika. No other beautiful girl of Raj can worship and enchant Mohan as sweetly as she can. Therefore, she alone is named Radhika in Vraj. Nobody else. And therefore, Shripad addresses her in this verse as Sri Radhika. Then, Shripad's transcendental vision stops and he eagerly prays, Ah, Sri Radhika, when can I see these sweet gestures of yours? And when can I hear you say, no, no, to your lover when he starts to embrace you? Thus ends verse 10. We can feel some of the the sweetness here of this engagement, this play, this amorous love play back and forth between Radha and Mohan. And only one is able to witness, to view this play. The only one that's able to do this is the Munjari. Shripad is praying, when can I see, when can I witness, when can I watch these sweet gestures? Not that I want to actively engage in them. I don't want to be a part. I want to sit back. I want to witness this play.
the other line that I like, I find too fascinating that um, Anantadas Babaji puts right before a verse that's filled almost entirely with a, a description of a beautiful Leela is there is no way to put such visions into words. So even though we we get this beautiful description of this engagement, this divine play, there's no way to fully realize, to feel completely this Leela, this engagement, this divine play between Radha and Mohan through words means that scripture, books alone, can't take us there. We need the feelings, we need the realizations Good morning, Nandava to all. So here, thank you for reading beautifully. So, Anantadas Baba and Prabhupada Nanda Saswati, our Acharyas, very practically way how to do meditate our Raganuga Bhakti, Ruganaga Bhakti, to get a drop of Manjari Baba. This commentary first sentence is verse 10. It's written. Tripada returned to the Siddha Swarupa. What does it mean? Yesterday we read verse 9. Yesterday, Mahatma Ji also, Uttava Ji also, Gorasundra Ji also, Bandana Ji also, we go too deep. Oh, mind, this word, we dig, right? At that time, Prabodhananda Saraswati comes out from Siddha Deha in this Sadaka Deha. Then he shows a way how to meditate. And yesterday's point is all mind. How to our mind concentrate our bhajan, always live in Vrindavan. Don't live Vrindavan, not physically in our mind, in our heart. And Vrindava and Radhika is the same. This is yesterday's point. Then today, now Mahatma's beautiful reading, verse 10. Then, here Anantadas Baba taught us, Shripada returns to his Sita Swarupa. This is the way. This I again learn by your mercy. How do you feel, Mahatma Ji? Yeah, it's very beautiful. In um, I feel that the first sentence of the commentary says. Sripad returns to his Sita Swarup, so he comes back into this spiritual body, out of his material identity. He drops all identity of this body here and moves into this spiritual body. And only then, a sentence later, it goes on to say he sees Srimati. So only in this spiritual body, in this Sita Swarup, can we see Srimati? Can we witness these pastimes? Can we become a viewer of this divine play, this engagement with material eyes 
in this material body, it's not possible. And perhaps that's why he also writes, there's no way to put such visions into word is because they're transcendental visions. They're, they're above this material world and this language is also material. And so it's not fully possible to describe with material words a transcendental vision. And to witness that transcendental vision, we, we have to have our, our Sita Swarup. And and this is coming by by mercy. In the first chapter of this book, it says that Srila Prabhupada Saraswati is the object of Mahaprabhu's great mercy. And this is this is his beautiful gift that he brought to the world was this ability to to have this body to come into this this spiritual body that has never before been here this opportunity has never existed before and through this body through these divine eyes we can get a chance to see to witness these these divine pastimes we can see our istadev Srimati. we get a chance to serve her So I would like to ask one question to all. So here, just uh, Mahatmaji picked one sentence. It's, there is no way to put such visions into words. Only experienced devotees can understand that. This is a very important point before Gurudev explained, but I'm very foolish. I forgot Gurudev's explanation why here is important. Gurudev, could you explain again this point if possible? Why here is the stress? I'm foolish. I forgot what you explained. We are so much covered with the material consciousness that we forget ourselves. We forget even that I am a soul and my constitutional position. And we are stuck thinking and working for material thing only. That's become my goal and my somni is goal in Siddha Sarup that we missing in material in the clutch of material existence and suffering. Uh -huh. This is the position of our material condition. So this is the Mahamaya influence so much that Yoga Maya is not helping us. Because when we are not in our constitutional position, then we go to the Yoga Maya. Understand? Uh -huh. So that way, when we forget my constitutional position, we start looking from material position, and that creates suffering.
and when we are in our real position, we understand because why she said no, and what is that? That is the experience devotee who understand living in the he said the sort of that experience we required and more longer experience we require for that. Understand? Clear or not? That is experience devotion. That type of experience we need in life. Rather. Sri Radha. Yeah, I agree. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much, Gurudev. But uh, I'm unfortunately, I have no experience. How to feel hope? Acharya is telling greed is important. And must is important. To receive that mercy, we need to create, clean our pot and to block our holes, what I create in my life. Holes are deviation from the goal. And the dirtiness means so many garbage we keep before that my pot is not clean. So that has to clean with the marginum. Marginum is by washing, rubbing and washing. That is So what is rubbing and washing? Chetu darpanam to my mind, my heart to clean. My cheta has to clean that who my ego, my this, who create too many problems in my life, that has to clean. This my, my part is creating that in our nature and life. They are always ready, a standing hand to give dirtiness. In every moment they are ready to give. We have to prepare not to accept that. When we are fixed with my sarup, it's very safe sight for us. And where I am, I can see that. If I am seeing the material things and attached with that, we have to feel that I am so much in my body consciousness with ego. And when we are in his, my sarup, we cannot deviate from my goal. Where I am, I not deviate from that goal. This is the nature of identification, where I identify myself. And thing is this, this is the special gift of Chaitanya. He said, identification is more important than any other thing. You identify your sarup, you will get all the connection and experience in life for that. You identify with your ego and material identification, you will get that mercy also. Material influence also to suffer more and more. So this depends upon your desire, your greed, what you greed it, what you desire it. Sri Raj. Thank you for asking.
must become grown. Read more. <laughs> yes. Verse eleven. When will that Radhika who is recognizable amongst the gopis by the effulgence coming from the moonstone-like toenails on her lotus feet and who is the very form of the essence of rasa and full passion ever bestow her mercy upon me. <laughs> when will that Radhika who is recognizable amongst the gopis by the effulgence coming from the moonstone-like toenails on her lotus feet and who is the very form of the essence of rasa and full passion ever bestow her mercy upon me The glowing of Sri Radha's toenails. Once more, Shripad becomes aware of Mohan's Vasanti Rasa, his vernal Ras Lila. Mohan and the gopis stand in a circle. Gopi, Mohan, Gopi, Mohan. Their effulgence is illuminating Sri Vrindavan. Sri Sukamuni the speaker of the Srimad Bhagavat was enchanted by this beauty and said, Lord Krishna, the son of Devaki, looked very beautiful between the gopis. Exactly like an emerald locket in a necklace of jewels and gold. How sweetly the gopis are dancing. With their playful steps, the motions of their hands, the playful movement of their eyebrows, accompanied with grateful smiles, bending waists, 
shaking breasts and the fluttering skirts of their garments, earrings swinging against their cheeks. perspiring faces and their braids and girdle loosened because of their swift movement and singing Krishna's glories. The gopis who are Krishna's actual brides, shone brightly like flashes of lightning <coughs> in a mass of clouds. The gopis <coughs> danced in a circle, and the prince of Raj danced with Radha in the middle of that circle. Shripad, in his form of a kinkari, sees how wonderfully sweet is Radha's artful dancing, and he, she, keeps his glance completely fixed on her lotus feet that shine like freshly blooming <coughs> red lotus flowers. Always fixed in the your mind and eyes in the lotus field. That is the only way. Do everything, but fix yourself, your mind in Radha lotus. What is the problem? Do everything, but she is giving you. No, try to create something to do. Accept the circumstances that that is mercy comes to me and keep your mind and eyes in her lotus feet. This you give me, I have to do nicely. You give me, I have to do nicely. That is my service. That is how who lasts, what is coming, bhav means the feeling, always connected in the lotus feet of Radhika. Fix your mind and eyes in her lotus feet. And what she give you, do that. What is the job of the servant? To follow the section of the boss. Why you want to create? You want to become boss. When I want to become boss, then the problem is coming. When I want to be like a servant, I have to fix my mind and eyes in your lotus. And I have to wait for your instruction and directions to do that. Anna? Rather. Yeah. Thank you. Very beautiful, Gurudev. 
And here also point is that even though Rasarira is beautiful, gopis are dancing with Krishna. But our sh- Shripada in Siddhadeha, just now you said, Manjari is not in dance. We are seeing, not only see beauty of Rasa dance, not see Mohan's beauty, no. Just you said, fix our mind, our eye, Shri Radha's lotus feet. This is also very clear point, right, Gurudev? You are telling the example in Maharaj's time. Manjiris are only fixed in Radha Lotus feet. And gopis are fixed with the Krishna. And Sakhis are fixed. Sakhis are fixed. Sakhi, Sakhi are fixed in also in Krishna. But the only manjari, that this is the special mercy, is only fixed in Radha's lotus feet. That's the beauty. Then to experience devotee can understand that. And there is no qualification to 20 years to experience this. In one day you can get experience. Rase. Haruna. <laughs> Can you do this seva or like mm, service without being fixed on Radha's lotus feet? And how does that affect the seva if you're not fixed? If you do something out of love, but you're not fixed in her lotus feet. How does that make it different? <laughs> Maybe in in the interim, I'll I'll offer, and then when he comes back, you can ask again. Um, I I feel that if if we're if we're not, <clears throat> excuse me, fixed in Radharani's lotus feet, then um, it's not possible to offer our service in unconditional love. Her lotus feet means she's the source of love. And so being fixed in her lotus feet means being 100% focused on love. Mm-hmm. So if we're not fixed on her lotus feet, if we're not 100% operating from this place of pure love then we're operating from some other part as well we could also be operating you know we could it could be like 50 50 or 70 30 or whatever the ratio could be but if we're not solely fixed 100 percent exclusively in this feeling of love then there's something else that's there as well mm-hmm. and so then it's not it's not really possible to to act solely out of love without being 100% focused on it we have mm-hmm. some other material desire or attachment or something even if we can't see it there's something subtly or subconsciously there mm-hmm. so radha's lotus feet means uh, being fixed on unconditional love yeah somehow yeah yeah, and operating from this from this place of love, from these from these feelings that that she embodies, mm. like in a way through her also through that focus point. Mm. I understand you. Maybe I don't understand myself. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if we 
if we are thinking as um as Gurudev says, if, if we fix our vision and our mind as he was just sharing entirely in love in mm-hmm. Radharani. We'll say they say Radha's lotus feet here, but really it's like in in love, mm-hmm. in this form of pure love, then um the actions that we take can be also out of pure love. Mm-hmm. And if we're if we're not completely fixed there, then our actions have some sort of material attachment to them. Mm. I don't know if that helps or not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Thank you for asking. I also, for me, it's difficult to fix Radha's lotus feet. I have so much material desire. I'm very material person. But why I come here in Brindava? I want to run this. I want to practice this. It's very fine for me, but at least we can see many good examples in Brindava and in our Mandir. You also, Mahatma also, now here Daima also, Harinamji also. Here is many, many beautiful souls. And every day we can grow up. We never go down. Seems like go down. But Swami is merciful. Every day she can make us step by step grow up. Right? This is for everyone, right? This is my hope. Acharya's word we listen, then we see what is the goal, what is the high, higher test. I need this, but I'm very low. That's why I want to learn from all of you. I need mercy from all of you. Then, my life, maybe somebody will come. Like, for example, our Monday we distributing Prema Prasadam. Even though our consciousness is, is sometimes maybe out of, maybe not pure <laughs> love, maybe, oh, I'm a good person, maybe, but still, I distribute Prem Prasadam. This is mercy, right? It's better than other activities. Then slowly, slowly, now Gurudev says, our mind becomes pure, slowly, slowly. I don't know how much takes time in my case, but at least we can learn, we can see. And uh, this is uh, my experience. I don't know also you have. It makes our heart pure joy, right? Another taste come. It's like a nice sweet cake or a nice fruit. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know what. <laughs> we cannot live from here. I don't know it's enough answer, but uh, this is my case. Then one day, a little, little, but uh, at least uh, we can get mercy from all beautiful Vaishnavas. And every time Arati go to Arati, then Radha give us mercy, blessings, and listening class also. Then slowly, slowly, here is full of opportunity to clean our heart. To test it. Thank you for asking. Mm-hmm. I don't know it's in you know, a but I love it. Mm-hmm. Do you want to ask something? Maybe do the Do you have a question? Mm-hmm. this place operating out of out of love you know that we're like asking about and talking about is um it's not we can't do this by ourselves we can't like make like the conscious decision to be like you know what i'm only going to operate out of love today 
And, and this is where, <clears throat> you know, like for me in my, in my Western mind, I want to be like, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to make the conscious decision to just like, all I do is going to operate out of love. And, and this is not possible for us, for us to do on our own. Um, it's a, it's a slow, it's a process, it's a practice. And so it's not something that we can, that we can do. It's actually, it's something that, that we become. It's a, it's a way, it's our mood, it's our feeling, it's this way of, of living approach, and it's our approach towards life. And as, um, Kishori so beautifully described, the way to cultivate that mood to develop this feeling that we live in all the time because we have so many decisions interactions going on every moment of the day it's it's not possible for our minds to be like oh remember act out of love oh remember act out of love oh remember act out of love and so this has to be just become a natural part of of who we are become our character become our mood and and this takes time right like we've had how many years on this earth creating our mood our character being shaped by those that are surrounding us in our in our home countries by the culture there by the customs there and they're maybe not solely focused on living in this loving mood and that's the beauty the mercy of uh as of, of Vrindavan, as kishori was so beautifully describing is like here um this loving mood exists and it's all around us. It's around us with the other elevated souls that are also practicing this. It's around us with our Gurudev in the purest form. It's around us with Radha Mohan itself, you know, and a, a friend of mine described, she was like, even the air in Vrindavan is sacred, you know, just by being here. I mean, it's the place of Radharani. This is her home. It's the place of love. She exists here everywhere. And so slowly this this mood this feeling can help to reshape our mood our feeling our character into this more loving approach towards life and and in this way this is how we can begin you know slowly slowly even though our western mind is like i just want to be doing it now you know it's like we had you know 20 30 40 50 years on this earth developing into these thought processes that we have now these keep these character traits that we have now it would make sense that it would take time to have these kind of rewired and restructured mm -hmm. um and that process occurs here in vrindavan naturally through as kishore was beautifully describing like the mercy of all these activities mm -hmm. and so it's it's to me it's not so much a, a conscious switch that we can flip as it is a mood that develops slowly in with time in uh in association of that mood yeah <laughs> beautifully described I'm, yeah I don't know. <laughs> but this is the conspiracy problem. Yeah. He has a conspiracy. That's why he can make a lot of it. He will see the doctor for mm -hmm. So by uh, focusing on Radharani's lotus feet and love and then getting the mercy from all the other devotees from uh, Radha Mohan in the temple from Gurudev uh, from Vrindavan then we learn how to be in this mood of loving uh, and loving actions and can like slowly slowly start to increase that percentage of how pure that of love uh, our actions are yeah, yeah. I, that's I mean a beautiful description and mm -hmm. um the only piece I would offer to kind of add or shift that a little bit is it's not um, it's not something that that we that we do. Mm -hmm. it's it's not quite as as formulaic as like 
my calculating mind wants it to be. It's like, okay, I'm going to go deliver Prem Prashad. And because I'm serving Prem Prashad, I'm going to receive this. And then my mind is going to shift this way. It's this path isn't, it's not linear. It's not straight. And we can't figure it out with our mind. Mm -hmm. And so, um, where we can use our mind, what we want to, what we want to focus our mind in is the desire. Mm -hmm. And we talk a lot about desire, um, in, in, in these classes and in these books and in the scriptures, the importance of our desire. So we don't have to be consciously shifting our, you know, be like, okay, I need to be thinking in a loving mood. I need to be thinking in a loving mood. We, cause this is more of like a doer mentality. Um, all we have to do is feel that I want this. I want to live in a more loving mood. I want to have more love in my life. I want to be able to put more love into my relationship or whatever it is, whatever element of, of love we want to increase in our life, wherever we want to do it. Naturally, if we desire for more love and we spend time in places where the loving mood is strongest, like Vrindavan, and it doesn't have to be Vrindavan physically, right? It can be Vrindavan virtually. Mm -hmm. I mean, every day we have two classes a day where Vrindavan is all over the world mm -hmm. because Vrindavan is a, is a mood. It's something that we hold in our heart. Mm -hmm. And so by spending time in Vrindavan physically, as well as in Vrindavan in our heart, this mood will naturally grow if we have the desire for it. Mm -hmm. And in this way, there's it's a little bit more it's a little bit more freeing. It's not quite as like, oh man, I have this like checklist of all these things I have to do in order to become more loving, you know? And like, it's really hard to accomplish all these tasks and check all these things off. And it's like, we just have desire. And the more we want it, the more it comes to us. And this is what Gurudev shares with like, keeping our vision, our mind completely fixed in Radharani, it's like whatever situation I go into in the day, wherever life takes me, I want to live with as much love as possible. Mm -hmm. And in this way, this mood, everything comes. She she gives everything to us through through the mercy of unlimited channels. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would say your your process was perfectly described, just a little bit more of like a an Eastern approach, you know, like you see it here in the East, like mm -hmm. when, you know, in the West, we're used to doing, being active, like, I'm going to go and do this, I'm going to go and do that. And here in, in India, it's so much more a part of the culture, like, there's a lot of people sitting around not doing a whole lot. You can see it on the street, you walk down the street, you're like, oh my, I'm amazed, like, a majority of the people here are just like, <laughs> staring, you know, they're, they're not actively doing their witnessing. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is our our position we can take in this path, but it's not that we're like sitting on the couch, not doing anything. Mm -hmm. We're still, um, we have this strong desire and this desire gives us opportunities mm -hmm. that we take advantage of. And those opportunities come in the form of Seva. Mm -hmm. And this is where for us, like we receive mercy through Seva. Seva is an incredible mercy that we get. And so this act of serving others um, naturally cultivates these feelings of loving connections because we read how Radharani is always serving. She's serving to Mohan, she's serving to her Mandris, she's serving to her Sakis, she's always serving. And so by serving, we are making ourselves closer we're bringing ourselves closer to her mood to her to her feelings mm -hmm. yeah. mm All understood. <laughs> Perfectly clear. <laughs> Perfectly I'm sure. Clear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, thank you. Fair thank question. You, Mahatma. Mahatma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Nine. We can share. Oh, thank you for it. Shri Pad, in his form of a kinkari, sees how wonderfully sweet is Radha's artful dancing, and he, she, keeps his glance completely fixed on her lotus feet that shine like freshly blooming red lotus flowers, of which each toe is a petal and each toenail shines like a moonstone. Shripad is enchanted by this vision. How sweet is the jingling of Radha's jeweled ankle bells. And how wonderful her jewel-like toenails shine with them. We have seen the thundering lightning dazzling in our eyes and causing our hearts to tremble with terror. But the lightning-like dazzling of Radhika's toenails that tremble along like the thundering lightning vines, while her ankle bells jingle along, please our eyes and makes our hearts play in the wonderful waves of blissful rasa. In this way, the maidservants experience that Sri Radha is the very form of an ocean of the essence of the rasa of Anurag. Lade. Here, another Das Baba says, This Shri Dajikas, beautiful, beautiful two nails, makes Manjari so pleased. Why? It's not only all Radhika is beautiful, not like this. Manjaris are in Seva Rasa. Means in Rasa dance, many gopis and uh, Many gopis surrounding. But manjaris are fixed to Radhika's daughter's feet. Means manjari can understand where is the source of this rasa. Means manjari understand Radhika is the highest gopi. Everything comes from rasa. Arada. Everything comes from Radha. Radha is Radha give highest pleasure to Mohan. Our Swami is the best. Then this beauty comes. Every shining come from Radha. In Rasa dance, maybe ordinary person can see all oh, many gopis are dancing, Mohan's are beautiful. No, if we fix our heart just uh, Radhika's lotus feet, then we can understand what is the real source, how our Swami is the best. Then Manjari become please. Manjari want to see Radhika's glorify, glorify. Radhika is the highest. Without uh, totally fix our heart to Radhika's lotus feet, it never happen. 
Our heart is easy to deviate more hands beauty or this rasa dancers nice mood. But if we fix this radical lotus feet, we really understand absolute truth. Why radical lotus feet? Well, I agree with that. Because she is the goddess of love. If you need the love, you need Radhika. If you need opulence in life, you need Lakshmi. If you need power, you need Shakti. If you need education, you need Vidya, Saraswati. These are the way. This, this is the way. So if you need love, then Radhika is the very highest. Because without love is the magnet. Love is the magnet. Whole universe is running because of the feeling and love. If there is no feeling, there is no love. Nobody can like to stay there. Why? That is love. And what is God? God is a controller. Because we are fearful with the controller that he do good with me. So I have to respect to controller. And one wants to know the love and controller. One is absolute truth, sonam bonam. That is love. If there is a God is standing in your front, and if you have no love, you cannot see him that he is a God. Even the St. Paul's talk in the Bible about love. So things are all moving because of the love. My name is Hello. I am here. I am here. So, so this. So this, he is the highest because he is the make us qualified to to understand everything because of the love and the feeling. So God even said that she is the higher than me. I am the subject and you are my object. Without you, nobody will recognize me. I show you the way. Controllers say, I show you the way. If you want to <laughs> understand me, this is the way. Love is the way. Love is the way. Love is the way. And that love is my somni, my boss. And we are the servant of that love. And in this action, any action of our behavior is devotion. All we do is a devotion. In the service, your mind is fixed and the eyes is fixed in the lotus feet of her and do what she gives you. That is your service. Say more dharam, say more karam. Rupa Manjari Pad <coughs> Say more Sampada Say more Bhajan and Say more Pujan You understand? So Rupa Manjari is the Dasi of Radhika For Dasi there is only one Dharam and Karam that to follow you. 
that is servant of love. Simple way. Raj hai Raj hai. Okay. Take care.